Right, okay, so once you've got fresh grease on there, you can go ahead and put the adjusting ring back on now. Now you've actually got to calibrate this now, and the way you do this is really easy. Just put it all the way on, and screw it all the way on until it stops. Then, the bit on the side, the little arrow that points to the number that it's selected to, turn it backwards onto itself, so basically you're loosening it, until it hits zero. And then when it hits zero, leave it at that. Right, now once you've got the adjusting ring back in, you want to go ahead and put grease around the outside thread as well. So remember, not too much, but don't be, uh, don't be stingy, put a decent amount on. Right, now once you've got grease on the outside thread, you can go ahead and screw this bottom bezel back on. Now, make sure that the uh, height adjustment is set to zero at all times when you're doing this, otherwise it won't be set properly when you put this back on. So, okay, so you can go ahead and put this back on. Now remember, the threads go the opposite way. So it's not lefty loosey, righty tighty. It's actually righty loosey, lefty tighty. So make sure you do it the right way around. And make sure that that always stays at zero. Right, now you may have a little bit of trouble getting the threads lined up at first on this part, but don't force it if it won't go. It should just turn easily. You shouldn't have to force it, otherwise you can cross thread it. So just screw this part back on. And what you're going to want to do is just screw this on until it stops, basically, so all the way on. But always making sure that that is set to zero. There you go, and you screw it all the way on until it stops. Now what you want to do is turn it upside down so you can see the bottom. Now, remember those two holes that you took the screws out of earlier? You want to turn it back on itself so you're loosening it again. All the way round until those two holes where the screws go line up with that post that's sticking through there where this bit goes through. So you need to make sure that that bit will go back on and that post lines up in between those two screws again. And then once you've done that, that's calibrated and as long as that's still at zero, that will be spot on. So if that's not at zero, then strip it apart, put it back on and do it again. Okay, so once you've done that, you can go ahead and put this back on. And then you can go ahead and put the two screws back in. And then put your brass washer back on. And then put the ring clip back on the post. Just line it up with a pair of pliers and then push it on like that. And then give it a try, unlock it. And oh wow, that is a lot easier. That's much smoother. And there you go. Now it should turn back beyond the zero slightly and then stop. That's normal, that's fine for it to do that. But when you turn it all the way around to adjust it all the way up, it should stop there. That's it, it should get to a certain point and then stop. And then you can go all the way back down again. So you might wanna just pull it all the way down, all the way up, all the way down, all the way up. And just do that a few times just to wear the grease into the threads and then it should be really smooth. That is really nice now. And it moves nice and easily. All right, so you're pretty much done. You just gotta put the metal plate back on, like that. And then you put the two black screws back in there. Okay, so once you've got the screws in, it's just a case of putting this uh, plastic piece back on. And then you can go ahead and put the two screws in and screw that down. And there you go, and that's it. And that whole assembly is now ready to go back into the turntable, which is pretty much just the reverse of how you took it out. Okay, so once you've brought your tone arm assembly back to the face plate, you can start by putting the audio cables and the earth lead back through the hole in the first in the face plate and then just line up the tone arm into place like so and then put the three screws in around the outside again if you want any more information about these screws and about the tone arm assembly uh, the appropriate links are in the description so check those out and there we go got the three screws in there now next is just to put the little earth lead back on that side of the pitch fader. So just put the screw through this hole and then put it back onto the pitch fader there. Okay, so once you've got the tone arm assembly back in, it's just a case of putting the plastic support back on. So put the uh, audio cables and that back through the hole where the tone arm assembly goes into. And then line this up and basically just drop it into place like that and then go and put all the screws back in. Okay, then once you've done that, just uh, put the rubber piece back on the bottom and uh, put all of the screws back in and screw the feet back on. And there you go. So once you've got all that on, you can then flip it back over onto its feet. 
Right, so it's just a case of putting everything back on top, like the platter, uh, the cartridge and everything else. Now, there's a really quick and easy way you can do this using magician skills. You ready? Watch this. Magic, see? So there you go. Uh, if you follow the instructions very carefully, you should be fine doing this. And uh, I appreciate it's probably a bit difficult, this one, just for the fact that you've got to sort of do calibrating and stuff. But like I say, if you follow the instructions step by step, you should be fine. And uh, the best bit about it is, if you've really got some grease laying around the house, and let's face it, everyone's probably got a can of WD-40 in their garage, this has probably cost you absolutely nothing. Uh, as opposed to 85 quid is what they quote to replace the thing and just 60 quid to get it unseized. Yeah, that's quite a bit just to do something that we've just done in 10 minutes, you know. So it's best to do it yourself if you feel confident enough. So hopefully this tutorial's sort of given you the uh, confidence to do it. So there you go. I hope the video's been a help. Uh, if you've got any questions, please leave comments. Uh, links and stuff are in the description and uh, any relevant information is also in the description. So there you go. Thank you for watching. Nice one.